In this video, guys, let's quickly explain risk reward ratio. Stick around. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. All right, so risk reward ratio, what does it mean? We talk about it so many times. Um, it's so crucial to your expectancy as a trader and it's so crucial to longevity as a trader. But what on earth does it actually mean? So let's imagine you are in a trade, you're looking for a trade, and there's two real components, well, there's two components to a trade on a simple level, our entry and our exit. But once we've taken our entry, there are two outcomes. Either the trade is a losing trade or the trade is a winning trade. Let's forget break even for now. And so when we take a trade, we hit the entry, we go long, for example, we've got a level where we're gonna come out of our trade, which is usually our stop loss position. And that's a distance from our entry to our stop loss, and that distance, you know, is our is our risk effectively. So imagine this example here, you've kind of got a bit of a drive higher, uh, the market's consolidated a bit, and your strategy is, hey, you know what, we found some support here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a break of that prior high. So kind of one, two, three reversal pattern, and I'm gonna put a stop just here under the low. So in other words, hey, the structure of the trade suggests to me that we're going higher, I'm gonna go long, my stop is gonna be here, and my risk, what's my risk? So my risk is basically the distance from my entry to my stop loss. So imagine if we took a break of the high uh, right here, so the market breaks out and we go long here, fine. The distance here from our entry, I use the black pen, you'll see it a little bit better. Distance is here, so here, imagine our stop was at this position here. I just kind of did a big uh, uh, kind of fuzzy level, if you like, but let's imagine it's here, a definite level. The distance from here to here is 25 pips. Fine, if it's 25 pips, that's our risk on the trade. Fine, we can quantify that. And again, the stop should be positioned based on a technical level or a level where they're more likely to a better way of thinking is this is where the trade is no longer valid. In this particular instance, the one, two, three pattern, you know, this kind of technique, we're breaking there, stops below the low, pretty standardized stuff in the right conditions, great. Stop is 25 pips, fine. If it goes back below that low, the pattern is no longer valid, I don't want to take the trade. However, you know, what's the reward on the trades? The reward is basically where we expect the trade to go. Now, I know this is subjective, and this is where kind of people are like a bit like, oh, it makes sense and stuff, and I get it. We have to have a little bit of poetic license here, but Let's imagine we had, um, you know, the distance between there and there was 50 pips, which is X, your know, distance between that drive. And we kind of say, well, we're gonna extrapolate that and we're gonna use that as a target. Again, a pretty standardized approach for doing stuff. It doesn't have to be that way. It could be that the next key level is there. It could be that we're filling a gap if we're trading stocks. It could be that we're hitting all-time highs. It could be a whole number we're looking for, any of these things. So. You know, it's, it's basically, this is how our, our trading ability comes in. We kind of assess the level we think it's gonna go. In this case, we think it's gonna go up and hit here, which is 50 pips, because the drive was 50 pips. So we go, right, there's our reward, okay? If we hit our final target, uh, we are gonna get 50 pips reward. So now we have a trade that's structured in, we've got 25 pips risk, and we've got 50 pips potential reward. And notice this potential, we don't know this, but this is how we're trying to structure the trade. It's got a good chance of getting there. We think it's gonna tag that level. Now we've got a risk reward ratio of two to one. In other words, we're risking one, 25 pips, to make two. So this number doesn't necessarily matter. That could be 250 pips, as long as the reward is 500 pips, or as an order of magnitude, because we're gonna adjust our position size to suit the distance of our stop. If we're spread betting, for example, we wanna risk 250 pounds, we're gonna do 10 pounds a point. If we're prepared to risk 500 pounds, we'd do 20 pound a point, et cetera. So the monetary value doesn't matter so much. The position size is adjusted depending on distance from the entry to the stop and how much we're prepared to risk per trade. So this is a two to one. Now, obviously, if this was 75 pips, it would be a three to one. If it was 100 pips, it would be a four to one, et cetera. You get the idea. And if it was just 25 pips, it would be a one to one. So that's the risk order ratio. We're trying to decide where our price target could be. We're quantifying the risk by placing a stop at a sensible level. That's always gonna be our, our fixed risk amount. Then our reward is where we think price could be. Now, some of the traps that we've gotta be careful we don't fall into is saying, oh, well, I'll just pick 100 pips. I'll just use 100 pips. Well, that might be where it goes to, 
but you've got to kind of look at the market conditions. Are the rotations, well, is that likely to happen in the time frame you're trading? If you're intraday trading, you're expecting too much from the price for that? Um, you know, is it a feasible target based on the structure of the market at the moment? Is it range bound? Are you asking for something really unique from the market? So yeah, this is where the skill comes in as a trader of saying, okay, what's the reward potential? Where do I want to have my target for this trade? Is it a feasible tra uh, target? And I will hold it to the target. And so, you know, you structure your trade, you go, okay, I'll take this trade. It's a two to one risk reward ratio. That's where the word comes from. And of course, how the outcome of the trade may well differ and it's important to log both of them. It's like, okay, I framed this trade as a two to one. I got stopped out fine. Next trade I framed as a two to one. Oh, I only got one and a half of my R, which is my risk. Why did I only get that? Well, because I took it out a little bit early. It went in my direction, came back and decided to take it out. So you start to document things like, okay, where was my target? How far to the target did I go? Did I go, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's worth looking at guys. Risk order ratio, very simple way to frame your trade. A rule of thumb is you want to have two to ones at least. If you're going on a smaller time frame, you can get away with a little bit less, but I think if you're kind of going broader market, day trading, swing trading, two to one minimum really, and trying to push it higher and higher and higher and finding those trades that really got a good chance of giving you a good reward for the risk that you're taking. Anyway guys, that's risk board ratio. I'll take care, keep your risk managed, whatever you're doing. I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.